I'm Paul Butler. I'm one of the client partners at New Leaf Training and Development, and I'm joined today by Ryan Carley, who is the Vice President for Sales and Marketing at Mason Controls, who I'm delighted to say are actually a client of ours. Hey, Ryan, the purpose of these Take Fives is to give people some practical help, provide some hope, and even sprinkle a little bit of humour. So I've just got one question, which I'd love you to run with for about four minutes or so, because we do call these Take Five for a reason. So here's the question. What would you say, Ryan, that you're learning personally, professionally, and even as an organization during these rather challenging days? And tell us a little bit more about the work that you do, what you guys do, and who you serve. So over to you, Ryan, and I'll wrap it up when you're done. Okay, excellent. Uh, Thanks, Paul. um, I'm VP of Sales and Marketing, Mason Control. So just a little bit of what we do and who we are. Uh, We make anything the pilots use to fly planes, folks use to drive tanks, so we're a lot in the uh, defense in the commercial space. Um, and I, at this organization, I serve everybody who works here. So about 300, a little over 300 people. And uh, my function is to go out and look for new business, continue the business coming in to make sure that we feed the factory and uh, keep people employed. Been a bit of a challenge given COVID because a lot of our demand has moved out. Uh, so definitely learning a lot about how to work in the COVID environment. Um, one of the things that I personally learned uh, very recently, which was was incredibly helpful for me, was actually how to pair these AirPods to my laptop. So thank you for that, Paul. <laughs> Anybody watching this video needs to know, Paul's your guy, because <laughs> I had no idea, and now I'm very trendy. Um, and then as far as as far as how um, in COVID, I think one of the, the really tough things for, for me and my organization is we're very much into relationships very much into selling through relationships, especially in aerospace, because uh, procurement or development time cycles can be can be a decade. You can spend your entire life potentially working on a program. And so normally through that process, I get we get we get to know people. You go visit mm-hmm. them, go out to lunch, maybe dinner, and it's that human interaction where you really get to know like the name of their cats and dogs and their kids and what their life, you know, what their hopes and dreams are. And and you use mm-hmm. that in selling because you can develop that rapport, that relationship. Uh, it also helps you to to motivate them to work with you and to enable them um, to you can solve problems for them to help them make them look good in their organization. I think that it's been a challenge because we we haven't been able to visit customers since March. Mm-hmm. It's it's just killing me because I love meeting people and talking to people. Um, I'm really glad to get to do this because I I know I will be vicariously meeting and talking to a lot of people through this video. Um, but we've had, we've had to pivot a lot to, to this, to this medium, to Zoom. And I was just talking to one of my, my sales managers this morning about that and, and how, how it's been going and what he's kind of tips and tricks that he's uh, implemented to try and build those relationships And because uh, it's very different. And one of the cool things that he does is he turns his camera on. If he schedules a call, he just picks up the phone and calls somebody. Obviously, you're not going to – he doesn't FaceTime the customer. But when scheduling a call, he turns his camera on every single time. And it doesn't matter if the customer has theirs on or not. Now, what he's noticed over the past few months, six, eight months, is that over time, customers kind of, I think, feel guilted, if you will, into turning their camera. We just had actually just had a meeting a few, about an hour ago where all the customers had their, their cameras on. So we turned ours on in our, in our you know, socially distanced six feet apart masks on meeting room we were in. And it, it really helped. It was, it was a pretty tough call, uh, but it really helped uh, break the ice and put a human element behind that. And I think mm-hmm. that's that's in sales, and then for all of us, it's that human element that's been missing so much. And anything that we can do to bring that back in, whether it's video calls or even uh, trying to find out, you know, where somebody's, depending on how well we know the customer, of course, like their address. Maybe we send them donuts, or if we have a lunch meeting, we send pizza, just to try and break up the monotony of sitting behind a screen every day and uh, and making it a little fun. Obviously. Really looking forward to the uh, the new normal, shall we say, and maybe even the end of COVID and being able to get vaccinated and get back out on the road because uh, I know I speak for everyone who works here and, and most of you watching this as well, uh, cannot wait to get back out there, developing those relationships and, and get out and fly. Well, Ryan, on behalf of everyone who watches these and uh, they become immensely popular, uh, thanks, Ryan, for your insights. And I just love your very pragmatic way of explaining things. And just thank you as all for the excellent work that you're doing over at Mason Controls. Could I offer you a virtual high five? Always, Paul. You know I love those. (laughs) Thank you so much, Ryan.